Good evening, young man. Thank you. Thank you're, you very much. You're welcome. What's your name? Marty Ross. And where are you from? Santa Clarita, California. Okay. What do you do for a living? What did I do? Okay. I was a salesman in the clothing industry for almost 50 years. And what is it that you're going to do? Stand-up comedy. Yeah. Is this something you always wanted to do and then... Yeah. Why didn't you start earlier? Uh, here's the thing. I didn't know I could do this. I didn't know I... I didn't know I can stand in front of these many people and do what I do. Yeah. Are you married? I have three ex-wives. That's a routine. Yeah, right. So that means I need a million dollars, like, as soon as possible. <laughs> um, what would winning mean to you? Are you kidding me? First of all, winning at any age is incredible. Yeah, and you your know, age is? How old are you? 80. What? You're 80? I'm 80. Oh, my God. 80. Uh, it would mean everything to me, because just the dream to be able to do this show with so many talented people is, yeah. is incredible. Good on stuff. Yeah. 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 So dazzle us with your humor, and uh, I hope we all get to witness your dream come true. Thank you very much. Here we go. So I turned 80 a few months ago, and people are saying the weirdest things to me, like, oh, you're 80? You're almost dead. Are you afraid? I'm like, no, I'm not afraid. My mother made it to 101. And if you want to know the family secret, we don't die. <laughs> no, we keep shrinking till we just disappear. <laughs> um, so I went to visit my mother in the nursing home. You know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> the only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> the first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. Oh, no. Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. I said, what did your doctor say? She said, my doctor said I have to build up a tolerance. So naturally, I said, well, then I'm your man. Thank you. Oh. Thank you so much. Wow. Thanks. My name is Brett Loudermilk, and uh, I'm a sword swallower. Oh. As if you didn't already know that. Uh, I need a woman from the audience to help me out. Let's see who we've got. Uh, Sophia, can I please use you? Yeah, join me, join me over here, Sophia. Up the stairs, thank you so much. Join me right over. Here. I'm not gonna swallow anything. No, 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 you... <laughs> you... No, no, no. No, wait, wait, stand right there. You and I are gonna swallow a sword. I'll, I'll swallow a sword, you're gonna help, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna place the sword into my throat and let go. I'm gonna hold it there with the muscles of my esophagus. I'll snap my fingers, open everything up. It's gonna drop down the rest of the way by itself. It's gonna bump. I'll bend myself into halves. I'll turn towards you and wink. When I wink, you grab the sword and you pull it out. No, I'm not yes. going to pull it! Yes. <laughs> what if I kill you? you? You were the wrong choice. Okay. Um, are you, <laughs> you ready? No. Just nice and slow. Okay. Okay, here we go. You have to watch. <laughs> Yeah. All right. That's it. Yeah. Right there. All right. 
You ready? Yeah, focus, Fa focus. You focus, face me. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> My career has led to this. Here we go. Look at his face. Look at his face. I don't want to. I don't want to. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. He can't do it. Pull out the sword. I can. Just pull it out. It's stuck there. No, it's, it's not stuck. Like, it's not stuck. It's not stuck. I promise you. This is so easy. I promise. Okay. Yeah. All right, last time. Okay, here we go. The fear was atrocious. Well, you don't, don't know, know what, what it felt. Like when you touch it, it feels like it's stuck in there and I was going to hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> Do Is I, he finished? I, well, that's not his act. I've got more. No, she. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Would you like to see it back on stage? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> May I continue? So, I've decided to bring along this one. Now, this is what we call in the business a wiggly one. Now, because of its shape, when I swallow it, you're going to see the sword through my throat. No, no. Pull one out. Seriously? Yeah. No, do you, you I really want to pull one you out. You really want to pull yeah. one out? Let's yeah. do it. Okay. Come on. Come on! Come on! Wait! Wait! Howie, would you do it too? Are you serious? Yeah, come serious. on. Would you do it too? Well, wait, 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 wait. Let me ask them. You need something. Right. No. All three. All three. Wait. I already did it. Come on. Right, find your safety spot. Somebody shout out a number. Three perfect. All right. Good. Oh, it just so happens I that I have you. not one, two. not two, but three swords. Three swords. That I'm going to swallow at the same time because okay. you asked for it. Really? And each one of you is going to pull out a sword. I'm jazzing right now. This was not planned. I know. I know. Okay. I had right. no idea. Have you done this happen. before? I have a. No, it doesn't matter. Listen. You're going to put all three in your mouth? I'm going to swallow the three swords. You're going to pull out. No, actually, no, I'm sorry. Already... You're going to pull out the last one. Okay, so it's going to be. Are you sure about that? I, I, right as rain. Will you really wink for this? I'll, I'll wink. I'll wink. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go down the line with swords. In. I've never done this before. Three at once. Three at once. The Here whole we go. Sword. All three. Here we go. Then we'll put no. You start with the top. Yeah, we'll go got it, got it, got it. Three, sir. Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let oh, my God. Concentrate.
right, I'm Terry. What's your name? <laughs> Ty. How oh, are you, sir? Man, I like them shoes, bro. Oh, got that whole okay. thing going on. Okay. I How gotta get doing? my money up. <laughs> hey, it took about 20 years for this outfit. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Now, what have you come in here on AGT to do, Ty? I'm coming to tell some jokes. Uh, I know that sounds very simplistic, but it, it really is a big deal for me because when I became a dad, whatever I did after that had to have some stability. Right. That's when I got into pharmacy because I knew I needed a job that made money. Right. You gotta take care of that family. Yeah, now that my kids are older, comedy's a thing that I said, you know what? Let me take a chance and try it. But, you know, even, even my mom was like, I remember when I told her I was quitting the job to do the pharmacy, she was like, Okay, <laughs> okay. I always wanted to prove that I could do both. Be a great dad and be a great comedian. I feel like Thank you're you. going to do amazing, brother. Yeah. What's your name? Ty Barnett. And where are you from, Ty? Hey. Chicago, South Side. And how old are you? Uh, I'm in my 40s. You look good. Oh, you look great. What do you do for a living? This is it. I do stand-up. Um, I'm a dad. I have uh, three daughters. I have two uh, biological and one daughter-in-law. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Aww. So how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, about 18 years. 18 years? 18 years. So you were already 30. That's kind of late for I started. I started after I got out of the military. I was in the Army for a while. Yeah. Well, thank you for your service. Was it always a dream to be a comedian? You know what, ever since I first saw Richard Pryor, like I remember when I worked at a hospital, it was always a thing that I wanted to do. And what I loved about Pryor was that, look at this audience, man, like so many different people. I was like, man, look at how he's making all these different people laugh. And he's that's my hero. Yeah. Well, Good for you. show us your stuff. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> Uh, first of all, thank you guys uh, for having me here. I love seeing all the talent back here. So young, it's awesome, uh, which actually kind of makes me feel a little bit old. <laughs> like, I'm a man, but I'm a specific type of man, and that's the beauty of getting older. Like, example, ladies, I'm the type of guy that if we go out for the evening and somebody disrespects you, I will defend your honor. <laughs> but understand that the level of defense depends on the size of the offender. Like in my heart, I want to be like, yo, dude, what did you say? But he might be like, yo, babe, what did you say? <laughs> I'm the type of guy, ladies, that will offer you my jacket. If it's cold outside, I will offer you my jacket. Uh, but I'm not the type of guy that uh, once you turn that down, then uh, you get cold later. <laughs> Offers off the table. You, uh, you obviously make bad decisions and uh, we shouldn't both suffer for that. I just found out that I might need glasses uh, for reading. So I had to make the hard decision, you know, to stop reading. Uh, I got colors and shapes down. I'm pretty good. I got silhouettes made out. I knew I was getting older, by the way, when I started rooting against the kids in scary movies. Remember how you watch Friday the 13th, Halloween, teenagers do something stupid or rebellious, but you still want them to make it. You want them to live. You're like, run in the barn, he's coming, run in the barn. <laughs> now I'm like, your mom and dad told you not to leave the house. <laughs> it's a school night, you're being disrespectful. <laughs> they in the barn, Jason, go get them. They in the barn. Spank them first, they was drinking too. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, you guys. <laughs>